Okay, so I'm about to embark on Roswell Season 2, Episode 3. Okay, or no, I'm sorry, Episode 7. I can't count. Um, it's the episode after um, they go to visit um, Whitaker's hometown, because, you know, Whitaker's an alien. Um, and, you know, they discover the whole husk harvest skin thing and um <clears throat> the episode after that I do believe that this is the one with the whole like the whole town of Roswell is um like put under the whole I don't even know the thing where no one remembers anybody or no everyone's gone that's what it was everyone was gone but anyway um let me just tell you a little bit about how I feel about season two of Roswell I hate Tess. Like, I hate her. I mean, I didn't like her when they introduced her in season one, but, like, I hate her in season two. And I hated... Oh, God, I hate the episode. The end of the world. Oh, God. Like, all I've been wanting, all I wanted all of season one was Maximus to get married forever and never be apart. Season two, same thing I wanted that. Did I get that in season two? No. I hardly got it in season three. Season two is a joke. Season two pissed me off. Let me just punch you in the face, Tess, okay? One, you just totally messed up the dynamic with Liz and Max. Like, that alone is reason enough for me to punch you. But two, you do not mess with my Alex. How freaking dare you, Alex? Like, really? You're gonna... You killed Alex? What? You do not kill Alex. Okay, freaking one, he's calling Hanks. How dare you even lay a finger on him? Two, how do you kill Alex and not, like, jump off a cliff or something? Because you're a douchebag, ma'am. You suck. Okay, you killed, you killed Alex. And then, which leads me to three, you freaking used Kyle to dispose of his body. And that was his friend. You were supposed to be Kyle's sister-like figure. How could you do the things that you did? All oh, so you could get impregnated by Max? Uh-uh. Bull crap. Stupid season two. Hated it. Hate season two. It doesn't even get good until the finale. The whole season I'm sitting there just wishing I could punch Tess in the face. And that urge just gets stronger and stronger as each episode goes on. And I get so mad. <sighs> and then season three. Oh, season three. At least Tess was gone, but... Man, the problems Max and Liz had were stupid. If I could rewrite that show, it would be like a freaking good thing. It would be good. God. And in case anybody has any doubt, I love Roswell. Roswell is my favorite TV show ever. <laughs> I love everything about it. So don't let this little rant misguide you or turn you off from the show just in case I accidentally spoiled everything for you and you've never seen Roswell still watch it because it's really good I mean clearly it gets me this worked up so it's really good and um that was my this is like a four minute video of me going on about Roswell I have issues with Roswell like clearly I have I have issues with Roswell, but I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I could also deal with me building a time machine, going back in time to Jason Kadams, 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 the guy who wrote the show, and um, eradicating the very idea of Tess from his brain.